Welcome to this edition of Ruler School. I'm your host, DM073. Today we're going to be covering three topics. Card types, basic card anatomy, and field design. First up is card types. Force of Will has six primary card types. Rulers, J rulers, magic stones, resonators, spells, and additions. We'll talk about the card anatomy for rulers, J rulers, and magic stones in their respective videos. But for now, I want to cover card anatomy that's shared between the other three types. Spells, additions, and resonators. This is a picture of a resonator. It's easy to tell a resonator because they have two clear numbers labeled with attack and defense on the bottom of the card. This is a spell card. It's easy enough to tell the type of card because at the bottom of the card it says spell in the description area. This is a picture of an addition. Again, just like spells, it's easily distinguished by the word addition in the card type area at the bottom of the card. All of these types of cards share some similar card anatomy, which we're going to go over now. If you look in the top left corner of the card, you'll see a big circle with five little small dots and a smaller circle that may or may not hold a numeric digit. In the large circle, each of the five dots could be filled with a specific color. This is that card's specific will cost. In order to play the card, you must pay will that matches that color combination in the small dots in order to play the card. In addition, if the card has a small numeric digit in the smaller circle off the base of the larger circle, you must also pay that for the will cost of the card. However, that cost can be paid with will of any color. At the top of any card, you'll see its card name. This is pretty standard and is used to describe the card, as well as the artwork in the middle of the card. The grayed out box in the middle describes the text of the card, whether it be any effects it has, some flavor text, or the abilities of a certain spell or addition. Certain cards have certain types of abilities in them, but we'll cover those at a different time. Jumping to resonators real quick, they have some specific things that are only for them. In the gray box in the middle, it will say resonator colon and then some text. That is the card's race. The race of a card is important when it comes to other cards that will be played later in the game. The bottom of a resonator contains two numbers, each representing attack or defense. These numbers are important for battle or damage, but we'll cover that in another video. With basic card anatomy out of the way, it's time to tell you about how the board state is set up. The board looks a little something like this. There's the main deck zone, the magic stone deck zone, the hand zone, the field zone, the ruler zone, the graveyard zone, the remove from game zone, the chance standby zone. I know it seems like there's a lot of zones to worry about, but don't panic. Once you get a few games under your belt, worrying about what zones go where will be a thing of the past. That's it for this episode of Ruler School. Click here to go on to the next video, or just let the playlist autoplay to keep learning. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to keep yourself updated and all the other stuff I'm doing on my channel. And until next time, this is DM073. Class dismissed.